Okay, I'm running <coughs> a Mega T with completely default settings because I want you to show you how it looks exactly after you download the program. And this is how. In my opinion, this representation is not very visual, so what I would do first is go to View and enable Mark Translated Segments. And I don't have any translated segments yet, so I'm going to create one just like this. So this is a translated segment. And as you see, I have only the translation displayed right now. So the next thing that I want to do is to enable the source so that the source text displays all the time. And to do this, I go to, again, View and Display Source Segments. Okay, so I now have both the source segments and the translation. And the last thing I want to do to make this representation as intuitive as possible is mark untranslated segment. So now I can visually distinguish between untranslated segments and translated segments. So personally I prefer to have these three options enabled. So mark translated segments, untranslated segments, and display source segments. So so that a T represents the text to be translated like this. By the way, it is also important to also enable this option mark non-union segments so that the any repeated text is highlighted as such in your translation. Now that I configured the editor pane to be as intuitive as possible, I can proceed with with the segments where the original will be equal to target. For example, in this case, I have a link to translate, and of course it doesn't require translation. But if I go to the next segment, it, it is left untranslated. No translation is added. Because as you see here, we have the translation highlighted in yellow, and here the translation is not saved. There are several options to deal with this type of segments that do not require translation. And the first one is to simply leave them like this, so untranslated. I don't like this option because it means that the translation is not written to the translation memory and it distorts the statistics and when you translate a similar project in future it will not appear as a TM match. So this is something that I personally prefer to, to avoid. So I want to write this translation into the translation memory and the second so the second way to deal with it is actually to do this to write it to the translation memory by using a very very useful command that is called register identical translation with this shortcut. So I'm going to use the shortcut like this. Okay. As you see it is translated now and as well as the repetition. The repetition is translated as well of course because auto propagation is enabled. So th this method is to use the register identical segments command whenever you need to have a segment where the original should be equal to target so which is basically not translated. So in this case I have a another link and I click control plus shift plus s again. Okay, so it's not. So it is actually translated and written to the translation map. There is also a third way, which is to enable this option, allow translation to be equal to source. And in the, what happens in this case is whenever you just press enter in a segment, a mega T assumes that it, it is translated and writes it to the translation memory as it is. So And of course this is not too convenient because simple going through the segments like this results in having them all translated which is which is not what you want normally. And for this for this reason alone I recommend disabling this option allow translation to be equal to source and using the register identical translation for each 
translation that where source should be equal to target. That's it. Thank you for watching and please share the link to the blog post under this video if this video helped you in some way.